The Mazda 3 sedan and hatch has been an incredibly popular vehicle in Australia. In fact, for the last two years, it's been either first or second on the Australian new car sales charts. And by any measure, that's a great success story. In 2013 alone, Mazda sold more than 42,000 Mazda 3 models. That's a whole lot of cars, and that's a really popular vehicle in Australia. Hi, I'm Trent Nikolic, and welcome to NRMA Driver's Seat. This is a brand new 2014 Mazda 3. As tested here, we've got the top spec SP25 Astina manual transmission and it comes in at a tick over $36,000. We've spent a week driving this vehicle around and we think it's a better car than the outgoing model that it replaces. So let's take a closer look at what makes the new Mazda 3 tick. The SP25 Astina gets the excellent 2.5 litre Skyactiv G engine. It delivers 138 kilowatts at 5,700 RPM and 250 Newton meters at 3,250 RPM. The official ADR combined fuel consumption is six liters per 100 kilometers for the manual as tested. On our 200 kilometer highway loop, we managed four liters per 100 kilometers. And on our 200 kilometer city loop, we managed 7.9 liters per 100 kilometers. Out on the open road, the engine in the SP25 feels powerful and willing. It revs cleanly through to red line without ever feeling breathless. The manual gearbox is slick. There's no notchy feeling in the shift at any speed. Clutch action is light enough to be easy in traffic, but firm enough that it doesn't feel dead when you're on the move. Short overhangs front and rear, and a striking cab back side-on style means that the Mazda 3 looks good from any angle. Signature Mazda grille and distinctive rear end styling ensure the new Mazda 3 will stand out from the rest of the mid-sized crowd. It's a well-appointed and well-executed cabin leather trimmed seats, leather wrapped steering wheel and a simple gauge layout that is as stylish as it is functional. The touch screen that operates the sat nav and the entertainment system is also excellent. We found it easy to get into a comfortable driving position, even the heads up display is adjustable to suit drivers of varying heights. There's not quite as much storage as we'd like with bottle holders in the door and no storage as such in the door, but there's also a centre console storage even though it's a little small as well. The rear seats fold flat, which importantly opens up what's already a large boot space. The opening into the cabin is small though, so fitting a bicycle in through that opening will be a challenge. There's plenty of headroom and comfort in the rear seats as well. Around town, the SP25 feels firm and well balanced. The ride is almost perfect on smooth surfaces. Out on the open road, the same is true until the SP25 faces some coarse chip bitumen. Tire roar can be loud to the point of annoying at highway speeds and over rough surfaces. The new Mazda 3 comes with a host of standard equipment and in top spec Astina guys as tested here, there's lane departure warning, auto emergency braking, radar cruise control and a full suite of safety inclusions to ensure a 5 star ANCAP rating. Attractive 18 inch alloy wheels are also standard along with leather trim for the SP25 Astina. Just over $36,000 isn't cheap for a medium car, but it's hard to argue that the Mazda 3 isn't a strong value for money equation when you take into account all the standard inclusions. Over the duration of our week-long test, this new Mazda 3 has proven itself to easily be the most impressive small or medium car currently coming out of Japan. It's a definite step forward from an already popular and an already impressive 2013 model. We believe that the new Mazda 3, this 2014 model, will continue the Mazda success story in Australia.